Hey, what's up there, everybody? So today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to uninstall games, applications, and DLC from the Xbox Series S and X, as well as the Xbox One as of the recording of this video, since they pretty much share the same user interface. So now for anybody who happens to be new, going through your Xbox for the first time can be slightly confusing trying to uninstall a certain game so that you can download a new game or whatever the case may be. Uh, first timers usually have a bit of an issue. Now, this is going to be a simple tutorial showing you how to pretty much cherry pick the different things that you wanna uninstall or just completely uninstall a game or application in total. Now, if you happen to have any questions or just want to chat, I also stream on Twitch about four times a week. I have the link in the description down below for that. So like I mentioned, if you're new to Xbox, this can be confusing for the first time, but once you're on the Xbox home screen here, this is going to pretty much be your home dashboard. You're going to scroll down once and it's going to say my games and apps. Now, for whatever reason, if this is not here, you can always press the home Xbox button and then go to my games and apps right here. Go ahead and select see all and then it'll bring you to this menu. So games like Call of Duty have multiple segments. So if you go ahead and scroll over to the game you want to uninstall, you're going to press the start button or pretty much known as the menu button. And it's going to bring up this menu here. You're going to go to uninstall and that will completely uninstall everything, all the DLC, all the add on everything like that. Now, if you want to go ahead and just uninstall certain portions of the game, you're going to press the menu button and go to manage game and add ons. Now, if, like I mentioned, a game like Call of Duty has multiple uh, segments. So you're going to go ahead and click on the game right here itself, right person A. It's going to bring up this menu here, manage install, uh, installation on internal, and then you're going to get this menu here. Now, if you happen to have an external hard drive, it's also going to show up if it happens to be uh, downloaded on that. So here are all the things associated with this Call of Duty game. As you see here, content pack one, two, three, and four are necessary in order to run the game. Then you have the ray tracing data as well as the HD texture packs. This is uh, required for the Xbox Series S and X. Um, most likely, if you have the Xbox One version, you should not have this. And then you also have all these other things like the campaign, multiplayer, and zombies. Now, if you don't play zombies or don't play the campaign, then you're gonna wanna go ahead and uncheck those. Once you're done selecting what you wanna select, you're gonna go ahead and press save changes. Uh, it's gonna go ahead and start to update the game and uninstall the content that you had selected. So now if I go back, as you see there, campaign and zombies is no longer on this list as selected. But if I wanted to go ahead and reinstall it, all I would do is just check them, save changes, and then that's going to start updating and reinstalling the things that I had uninstalled. Now, for whatever reason, if you wanna go ahead and re-download a game that you had removed, just go to full library to all own games, as well as own applications, it's gonna be the same concept. And this is going to show you all the games that you currently own. So I have it filtered to show installed, but I can go ahead and select all games and it'll show you every single game that you currently own and can install and play. Now, if you happen to have a game sharing feature or if you're game sharing with someone else, their games will also appear here that you can download and play. Now you can also sort them by date acquired, A through Z. I like to sort them by date acquired because it shows you the newest games first. So there you go. That's how you uninstall and remove applications, games, and DLC from the Xbox Series S and X. If you happen to have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Or if you want a more personal conversation, a one-on-one, -on -one, uh, you can catch me live on Twitch four times a week. Links are in the description down below. But that's pretty much it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you on the next video.